What's up everybody, Durek back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking more about Ready or Not, but uh, this one's going to be a little short because there hasn't been too much going on. So I thought that we would talk about the Instagram post that was released not too long ago by Void Interactive. It's one of those posts where it does not stay on for very long, so you have to catch it as fast as you can. Um, but it is a shotgun that has the back end of it painted orange, and a lot of people have speculated that this is a non-lethal shotgun. On the post itself it says, I like like to keep this one handy for close encounters i mean it makes sense for a shotgun though right you know i have to wonder if that is a call out like at the beginning of a mission you pick out a shotgun and he says this dialogue right here that'd be kind of cool actually like if you pick a specific voice actor they have special lines but anyways like everybody's talking about the shotgun but if we look down if you scroll down you see something at the bottom right there like what is that that looks like some kind of military vest i can't really say for sure i mean i can see the glove here but is that his hand i don't know that's a little confusing i wonder it doesn't seem like anybody's talking about like what's underneath the shotgun there but i find it interesting nonetheless so how do we know it's non-lethal well gunter actually confirmed it on the reddit it's saying here that uh orange is less than lethal and the only reason we would have an orange gun so that's interesting i always thought that less than lethal guns were always like a yellow color but maybe maybe they switched it up because I don't, I don't think i've ever seen like a less than lethal color that's orange but you know i've been proven wrong in the past so so yeah i find that interesting as far as i know from what the community has said they don't seem to know what kind of shotgun that is um they have been stumped on it as far as i can tell to me it kind of looks like a shotgun from like um world war ii but it doesn't seem like anybody actually knows at least not at the moment if anybody you know knows what this is in the comments let me know moving on so the community decided to invite me to a chat that they had but they're trying to turn it into a podcast which is very interesting or i recorded it but i sent it over to them because they said that they wanted to post it on like a soundcloud or something like that i don't know when they're going to post it but there was a lot of interesting conversation about the game a few devs showed up you know gave their take on uh, the comparison between rainbow six siege and and ready or not they also gave their thoughts on the delay of the trailer in uh june or july it, it, it was a pretty interesting conversation and I hope that they release that uh, podcast, but only time will tell. So I think the last thing that we'll do is probably the uh, Reddit post, which there aren't that many that were actually answered in the past couple of days. But before I talk about that, I want to make sure that people know to actually read the FAQ before they decide to post anything on Reddit, because too many times that I've seen that um, they ask the exact same question so be sure to read the FAQ if you want to go post any questions on Reddit. The guy that's running it does a fantastic job of keeping up with all the questions. So I suggest you read it before you know post any comments that we've already seen before. So just, just throwing it out there. We're going to start with video replays. After you play a round mission, will you be able to replay just a video of what happened? Like let's say you did some crazy kill streak and it was very cinematic and such. Would you be able to play it back and show it to your friends? Plus as a side note, in the trailer all the dudes with the helmets have HD helmet cams on the side. Would we see the replay through that? Or is it just a thing on the side of the helmet? Send the trailer when ready, devs. No rush. Eh. Somebody in the comments replies with, The camera on the helmet is used alright. You have a tablet which you can use mid-round to see what your teammates are doing. Hopefully you can move while doing so. And the developer replies with, Can move, just cannot shoot. Good idea, OP. Very good indeed. Alright, moving on training room missions could there be some sort of training missions or something like a tutorial or something to just test different weapons i was thinking about this because in the trailer and in dead block 2 it shows those rooms in the walkways above like of a training room we know those rooms are modeled because they're in the trailer and dead block but would they actually be used would there be some sort of simulation in there where there is a cardboard metal target hostage situation but you know in a training situation like in the trailer so basically do y'all think there will be a mode thing you can go in and practice or do you think you would want need one and the developer simply replies with yes so that's kind of cool we're gonna get some kind of training room that's actually pretty cool i wonder if it's gonna be like ground branch where i could just go in and just like you know test out all the weapons on a shooting range that'd be kind of cool actually so i could showcase all the weapons that would be awesome moving on true first person will players be able to see their legs legs are visible so are the player's shadows and their body slash heads will cast a shadow onto the first person's arms torso could be made visible at some point too but it's not currently under works this was quoted from the faq 
If you decided at some point to make the body visible, it would be true first person, aka body awareness, or is it a big pain in the ass? Or how good is the sync between FP view and third person model shadow? Of course it's important mostly for the multiplayer, and the developer replies with, it's technically true first person, in a sense that the FP arm and 3P arms occupy the exact same space, as well as the player's head and camera being 1-1, one -one. but they're not sharing a mesh, so we have greater control over the first person experience this way. Basically there's no upside alternative sticking a camera on the 3p being able to look at your chest isn't a good enough reason to do it the way we do it currently is the best way and it's really robust somebody replies with I completely agree with this. Keeping the arms separate makes player movement feel more responsive and removes a lot of the perceived clunkiness that comes with attaching a camera to the head or neck socket. Keep up the good work, Gunter replies with. Exactly. Lots of issues come when you start trying to make third person and first person the same thing all the time. I mean, look at CIG. They had to come up with a bunch of systems to smooth out player movement from the first person. As cool as that is, it's not needed if you just have them as separate entities. Interesting. All right, let's move on to the next one. Which says, I wonder if one of the 5150 guy tattoo are going to get removed as well. And then it shows a picture of Steam Survival Hit Scum removes Nazi tattoo after outcry. And it shows a picture of the scum character and I guess there's a Nazi symbol on the back. Uh, I'm not sure what the slang is here. But yeah, I've actually played Scum and I, I kind of like it a lot so far. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. I might, I might share some videos if you guys are interested. But anyways, the developer says, in in PvP, you're not playing as the same suspects as you fight in our co-op single player experience. The organization of our SWAT team battles in PvP are entirely a different thing, devoid of any insignias that might cause issues like this. So yeah, we just learned something new there. It's gonna be completely different from co-op and multiplayer. We already knew that, but we're not gonna see any of the people that are in co-op come over to the multiplayer. Because I believe in the multiplayer, it's gonna be the SWAT team versus the paramilitary force, I believe. Unless I'm mistaken. Interesting concept. Interesting, interesting. Moving on. HUD? Crosshairs? I presume and hope HUD crosshairs will not be present. Somebody replies with, no HUD crosshairs if I remember correctly. And the developer replies with, correct no crosshairs and that's all we have for today it was very uh this is a very short video but i mean there wasn't a whole lot going on so i really didn't want to release one but you know gotta keep the the, the people happy i guess i don't know well i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i will catch you in the next one Bye bye